Hello, hello, welcome. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. It's a fine, thank you. And you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome. Okay, today only girls. What happened with the boys? They are sleeping, eh? Baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah right. <laughs> okay, let's start with the with the class. I will show you the PowerPoint presentation. Okay, let me see. Okay, can you see? Can you see the, the yes. screen? Yes, okay, good. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Uh, I heard a boy over there, right? <laughs> ya, ya entró un chico por ahí. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, today we're going to learn about sports and seasons vocabulary, right? So we're going to learn about sports in the United States because we know that in El Salvador, the national sport is, <clears throat> sorry, is football, right? Football. <laughs> yes. And Capirucho too, right? Also national sport. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> then uh, we're going to learn about the simple present WH question, right? And conversation. I love sport. That's the conversation for today. And you know we have seen the WH question. Ya la vimos, ¿verdad? Pero we're going to make a review with the WH question, right? Because they are really important. Okay, now let's begin with the class. The lesson objective. Let me see. Uh, Gabriela Hernandez, please. Can you read the, the objective, please, for, for the class? By the end of this class, we, you will learn vocabulary, read to popular sport in the U.S., in the Canada. Excellent, right? El Salvador, no, but, you know, to learn about vocabulary, we were going to practice with, with sports in the United States, right? Sports in the United States. Okay. Now, the vocabulary for today is golf, soccer, that is football, right? Only, only the gringos, they say soccer, but around the world, everybody say football, right? Okay, football, that is the American football, right? That I don't know what they say football, if they use the hands to touch the ball, right? But anyway. Bike riding, hiking, baseball, tennis, volleyball, swimming, hockey, basketball, ice skating. Okay, I, I hear one microphone on. Por ahí hay un micrófono encendido. No sé quién me lo tiene por ahí, please. Thank you. Now, listen and repeat, please. Listen and repeat. Golf. Soccer. Football. Bike riding. Riding. Bike riding. Hiking, baseball, base, ball, tennis, volleyball, swimming, swimming, hockey. Basketball, 
Ice skating. Ice skating. Ice skating. Skin. Skin. Okay, this is the vocabulary for today. I don't know if you have any question. Yes, teacher, I have one. I have one. Tell me, tell me, Graciela. What's yes, the meaning of skin? What's the meaning of skin? Skin is skiar. You know, the, the oh, ones oh. that you make like this on the snow, oh. right? And, and hiking? I, I, high skating is when you, with, with you, you know, even there is a I'm skating that is artistic. That oh, they, okay. Ice skating, right? Uh -huh, like that, ballet? Like ballet, but you know, on the snow, on the on the ice, yes, yes on the ice. ice. And okay. hiking is hiking. when you when you go to the mountains. Okay. You go to the mountain and you climb, right? Climb. Okay. Hiking. Yeah, you can Thanks, imagine sir. you you can imagine Spider Man in mm -hmm. hiking in a building, right? But okay. the, the sports is not in a building; it's in a mountain, in a volcano, for example. One of the most uh, famous places is the Himalaya, right? And the Everest, okay. the Mount uh -huh. Everest, right? Where Everest, they go. Mountain. And some people die when they go hiking, you know? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question, class? No? Okie dokie. Now, let's continue, right? Now we're going to go to uh, practice some vocabulary, right? Some places where you can practice uh, some sports. Here, for example, we have a park, right? One of the most common parks we have here in El Salvador is um, El Café Talón, um, El Balboa. Um, we also have the, the one that is next to Balboa is... Uh, I don't know, but there is another park next to Balboa that is private. And also we have a Parque Bicentenario, right? That is very nice, right? You want to walk. Okay, so parks. Then we have gym, a gym, right? A track. A, a track is like a line that goes into a circle, right? a line. Also, track is, also, is used to say pistas, rasgos. Um, um, un trazo, una, algo que se dejó, you know, como una huella. That's a track. In the same how we have in the, the laser disc, CD, CD, you know, the CD, the compact disc, they have tracks. That's why they say uh, track número uno, track número dos. So it's, you know, the lines, and every line contains a song, right? So tracks where the athletes run, that's a track. And then we have the pool. Also, we can say the swim pool, right? And we have an athletic field, athletic field. Uh, also in, in football, uh, you know, Salvadorian football, right? Estadio Cucatlan, for example, uh, the place where the, the players uh, play, <laughs> the place where the players play is called the the football field you know so that the field the campo then we have a golf course a tennis course also we can say a basketball course a volleyball course okay course that we say cancha de the golf tennis basketball and volleyball right so that we say call a uh, court Good. Now, listen to the audio, please. Let's listen to the audio. Vocabulary. Places for physical activities. Exercise A. Read and listen. A park. A gym. A track. A pool. An athletic field. A golf course. A tennis court. Now listen again and repeat in the pauses. A park, a gym, a track, 
a pool, an athletic field, a golf course, a tennis court, Okay, any extra question? Any extra question, class? No questions? Okie dokie. So let's continue, please. Let's continue with the class. Let me see. Ah, we have the other class, right? So we are going to go to the platform. We are going to go to the platform that is, oops. Give me a second, give me a second. I want to open it. Okay, here. Okay, with this vocabulary, we're going to start with the section number five, right? The section number five. Okay, opening, sports and season, vocabulary, right? And let's watch a video. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to popular sports in the U.S. and Canada. Let's get started by listening and practicing the vocabulary. Sports seasons in the U.S. and Canada. In the spring, people play golf and play soccer. In the summer, people play baseball, play tennis, play volleyball, and go swimming. In the fall... People play football, go bike riding, and go hiking. In the winter, people play hockey, play basketball, go ice skating, and go skiing. Now it's your time to put this vocabulary into practice. I would like for you to describe the sports that you play in different seasons. For example, in the spring, I play soccer. In the summer, I go swimming. In the fall, I play football. In the winter, I play basketball. Try to give as many examples as you possibly can. Think about your family, friends, and co-workers, and the sports that they play. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Go swim. Football. Play. Basketball. Try to give it. Okay, class, now it's time to practice. It's time to practice, right? So we're going to start according to the list with uh, Beatriz Galdame, right? Hello, Beatriz. Can you hear me? Hola, teacher. Oh, come on, sí. hola. Let's say hello. Good evening. <laughs> okay, hello. Beatriz, uh, listen. Uh, I don't want you to say it's in the spring and the in the summer, in the fall, and the winter, because in El Salvador, we don't play according to the, to the season, right? In fact, we only have two seasons. That is winter, where we have rain and no snow. In the United States, they have snow, and in El Salvador, we have rain, right? And we have the summer that is very dry, yeah. right? So I only want you to tell me which sports do you practice, right? Okay, so you say, I play, I go swimming, I play football, I go skiing, I go hiking, etc., etc. Notice, please, Beatriz, in class, 
that, uh, for example, when we say goals, soccer, football, baseball, tennis, volleyball, basketball, you say uh, hockey, you say play, I play, right? And when you say uh, swimming, bike riding, hiking, um, ice skating, in El Salvador we don't have that, but uh, skiing, we say go, right? Go. Okay? Good. Now, Beatriz, your sentence, please. In the sewer, I go to the river. I, I, you go to the river. So in this case, I imagine you, mm -hmm. you go swimming. In this case, in a river, right? Go so swimming say, in the I river. go swimming in a river. Please, come on, repeat, Beatriz. In the summer, I go swimming in the river. In a river, okay. You want to say in the summer, that's okay, no problem. That's no problem, thank you. Now, uh, Beatriz, no, Brian, please. Brian, ready, Brian? Your example, please. Brian? Um, in the uh -huh. summer, I play tennis. Okay. Tennis. And in El Salvador, there are many places to practice tennis, right? But listen, Brian, this is a sport related with high class, right? <laughs> in the popular neighborhoods, right? Colonia Populares, we don't play tennis, but okay. Uh, Roberto, hello. I, I, I don't see you very well. M maybe you can move your camera. Okay. Thank you, Robert. You can move your camera, Robert. Thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, can you open your camera, please? I see you're using a, <laughs> you're using a gun over there, right? Okay, good. So let's continue. Let me see. Uh, Christian Perez, welcome, Christian. Welcome. So tell me your example, please. Okay, teacher. Um, in the spring, play golf. I soccer. I I, 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 uh -huh, I play okay. golf and uh -huh. soccer. Okay, teacher. In again, the spring, again. I in the spring I play golf. And soccer with my friends. Excellent. You're a sport man, Christian. Congratulations. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Two more examples, right? Uh, we have Christopher Sanchez, right? And Christian Perez. So, um, so let me see. No, better Cory Monterrosa. Cory, please. Welcome, Cory. Tell me the last Hi, example, teacher. please. Hi, hello. Good evening. Good evening. In the summer, I go back riding ah nice nice i i love bike riding right okay mm, one more example let me see uh, tell me please open your camera tell me i see you there in the picture with your baby right with your beautiful daughter <laughs> come on tell me good Hi. evening good evening give me one example please in the fun i played football oh in in the sister or sister with, with my with with with, with my, my with my with uh, with your sister, <laughs> sister. <laughs> okay let me see i have two messages here give me a second um brian brian tiene problemas uh y beatriz galdame verdad pero beatriz nos, nos participó bueno espero que arreglen su conexión ahí siempre a veces falla el internet Hasta a mí me ha fallado. O sea, recuerdo una clase que estuve sudando, estaba yo porque no, no me escuchaban nada, ¿verdad? Así que tranquilos, ahí este, Brian y Beatriz, ojalá que por ahí se acuerden los de Tigo y les envíen la señal poderosa. <ríe> ok, let's continue, right? Now, this is the vocabulary. Now, let's go to the, to the grammar of today, right? Let me see, we have this sharing. Okay, 
So we have the, the second objective for tonight, right? Uh, Jennifer, please, can you read the objective for tonight? The second one, the second, the second objective. Okay. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple present double question addition. Additionally, you Addition. will practice a conversation while which 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 illus no sé cómo se dice yes, illus, illustrates uh, illustrates which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting 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 in un contexto de la vida real right in Spanish in un contexto de thank you thank you Jennifer okay so that is the objective uh, again wh question wh question Remember, keep this in mind all the time and you will have no problems to understand um, the difference between yes, no question and information question, right? A yes, no question, only yes or no. Are you Walter Bonilla? Yes, I am. Are you Sarita Quintanilla? Yes, I am. Are you Shakira? No, I am not. Okay, so yes or no, yes or no. Can you play football? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Do you live in Metapan? Yes, I do. No, I don't. So those are the yes, no question. Now, today we're going to learn about the WH questions or information questions. Se llaman WH questions porque todas usan WH. Todas llevan WH. Y uh, también se llaman preguntas de información, information questions. En unos libros lo van a encontrar así. Uh, porque estamos preguntando algo específico. So when I say what, for example, I say qué, what. When I say when, I say time, right? No tiempo, cuándo. Uh, when I say where, I say uh, place, un lugar, dónde, en qué lugar. How. Cómo, de qué forma, o qué número, cuántos, etcétera, etcétera. So, depending of this, we give some specific information, right? So, this is what we learned today. Okay. So, here we have some, some example, right? Okay. Uh, I need some, some of you uh, read for me, please. Gabriela Hernández. Can you read the first question, Gabriela? What do your in-law do? Now, uh -huh, okay, correct. Good intonation. The intonation is falling, right? Falling. So you don't, you say, what do your in-laws do? Notice the difference between uh, information question and yes, no question. Yes, no question goes up, up, hacia arriba. So you say, uh, are you Iris? Are you Iris? Up, right? Hacia arriba. Are you Iris? And what do you do? Okay. Again. Are you Iris? What do you do? Okay. Up and down. Up and down. Okay. The yes, no questions are up. And the information questions or WH questions are down. Okay, thank you very much. Now, uh, Gloria, please, would you like to read the second one? Where do they cousin live? Excellent. Graciela, next one. When do you visit your arm? Excellent. Guadalupe Coronado, Lupita, please. L Hello, teacher. L Hello, C please. M D number, number four, please. Would you tell Esa palabra no la sé pronunciar. Ok, listen, listen. Five, Step zero, eight. right? Por ahí escucho Step el micrófono, two. por favor, si me ayudan. Ya, ya lo estoy llamando. Please. Ok, thank you. Now, Lupita, again, listen. Repeat after me. Step. Repeat, please. Step. Step. No, no, no. Listen, listen. Listen to me. Pay attention, please. And never, never, Lupita, forget this sound. Listen. Step, step, pull. 
Come on, repeat. School. School. Student. Student. Steven. Sorry, no escuché. Okay. Steven. Steven. Okay. Next time, if you have a cousin, right? Si tiene un primo que se llama Steven, don't say, ah, Steven, vení, right? <laughs> but you're going to say, Steven, come here, please. <laughs> okay, now, please. Hey, last time, repeat after me. Stepchildren. Stepchildren. Correct. Now, again, re repeat the, the question. Read the full question, please. Would you tell stepchildren like with? Okay. Who do their, uh, again, who, who do their, who do their stepchildren like with? Live, live with? Live, live with. Okay, Sorry. But listen to the intonation. Don't worry, don't worry. Come on, we're learning. Aquí todos estamos aprendiendo. Usted no me equivoco. Don't worry. So, Lupita, say, the, the special intonation, you know. Who, the, who do their stepchildren live with? Uh, you know, like, live with? Like a question. Okay. La, last time, right? La última vez. Listen. Who do their stepchildren live with? Who do their stepchildren live with? Excellent claps. Come on. I like it, Peter. Thank you very much. It's difficult. Come on. Next one. Uh, Jennifer, please help me with the, the next one, please. Jenny? Jennifer? Hello. Hello, Jennifer. Come on. Uh -huh. Ya se fue el polígono de tiro, Jennifer. <laughs> Ok, yeah. come on, Jennifer. Next one. Read the next one. Léame la siguiente pregunta. How often? How often? How often do you call your um, nice? Nice. Nice? Nice, yes. Ok, nice. Thank you very much. Now, Flor, please. Can you help me, Flor? Next one. Yes, teacher. How many children do they have? Thank you very much. Thank you. Good questions about these questions. Last time I explained this, right? La, la vez pasada expliqué las, el significado de esto, pero lo vamos a decir nuevamente. In loves is eh, toda la familia de su esposo o su esposa. Eh, no sé quiénes están casados en el grupo, pero digamos, eh, Roberto ah, no, eh, Roberto tiene una, la esposa de él, tiene una gran familia, y toda la familia de, de, de la esposa son los in love, right? Sister in love, la cuñada, mother in love, father in love, etcétera, etcétera, right? In laws. Uh, luego, my cousins are the children of my aunt, o or, or the children of my uh, of my uh, uncle, yes. Los hijos de mi tío y los hijos de mi tía, right? Cousins. Aunt is a girl. Mi tía, right? And step is... Uh, cuando hay dos hogares que ya están establecidos y hay una separación y... Bueno, <laughs> la historia de la vida estoy contando. Y eh, esto se une con otro hogar que también está separado. Entonces, los hijos del otro hogar se, se convierten en, en hijastros. Y otros se convierten en padrastros, eh, madrastras, eh, hasta el chuchastro se llama. <ríe> ok, entonces eso en inglés se dice step, step, step father, step mother, step children, step son, step daughter, etcétera, etcétera. Ok. En is is sobrina, right? And when you refer to children is, aunque ya sean grandes, ¿verdad? Decimos children. Carlos Domínguez está un poquito grandecito ya, ¿verdad? Pero joven, por supuesto, súper joven. Pero si, si Carlos y los hermanos o las hermanas juntos, les diríamos, les diríamos the children, aunque ya no sean chiquitos, ¿verdad? Entonces siempre se dice así como los hijos. Ok, now, let's continue, please. Uh, who's going to help me reading? Uh, María, please, María, would you like to read the next question, please? Lea esta pregunta por, para mí, María. Please. 
What does what does your sister in law do? Excellent. Next one, please. Maritza. Help me, Maritza. Hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, where does your step sister live? Okie dokie. Thank you very much. Roberto Quijano, please. Next one. When does your brother visit has nice has niece? Mm -hmm. Visit his niece, right? Thank you very much. His, mm -hmm. his niece. Thank you. Sara, please. Yes, teacher. Next one, please. Leame la siguiente. Who does your stepdaughter live with? Okay, thank you, Christopher Sanchez. Lo hemos dejado por alto, Christopher. Sorry, Christopher. Uh, how often, Christopher? Okay, uh, how often does she call her nephew? Nephew, uh, nephew. Thank you very much, sobrino, right? And uh, next one, uh, Walter, please. The last one. How many half brothers does have? That's those it. he he have. Excellent. Half brother, right? Is that uh, you? You have a baby, and you have a separation, right? And then you dan dan daran dan dan daran again, right? For the second time, se cansa la segunda vez, right? And then the new new person has a has another baby. Y tiene otra persona, perdón, otro niño con esa persona. And then the they come half brothers, medio hermano, right? Medio hermano, half brothers, okay? Es decir que la cintura para abajo son hermanos de. <laughs> no, mire, <laughs> medio hermano son. Eh, eh, que Brother. la mamá es, eh, digo, no es la mamá, sino que es otra señora, pero su papá sí es su papá y este papá tuvo otro niño ahí. Ok, sorry, ya nos confundimos todo, pero. <laughs> ok, good. Half brothers, medio hermanos, medio hermanos. Ok, now, this is what we call WH question. What is a WH question? A WH question is when I say use what, where, when, who, how often, how many, right? And I'm asking a specific information. What, qué, where, dónde, when, cuándo, who, quién, how often, con qué frecuencia, and how many, cuántos, okay? And notice the structure, right? We have four, four uh, parts, four parts. Number one, WH word. Auxiliary, sometimes is do, sometimes is does, right? Then we have the subject and then the verb, right? WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Yeah. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Uh, to use the information question, we use the auxiliary do and does, right? Notice, please, use do or does. Plus the base form, plus the base form of a verb to ask information question. Number one. Sorry, okay. Where do your in-laws live? When do you visit your parents? How often do they go to class? Where does your sister live? When does she visit her parents? How often does he go to class? Let's make a simple question, right? For you to understand. Uh, let me see. Xiomara, please. Hello, Xiomara. Hello, teacher. Okay, I have a question for you, Xiomara. Um, I will use this. Look, where do you, in this case is uh, Xiomara, right? Where do you live? Where do you live, Xiomara? I live in Metapan. Metapan. Metapan, okay. Nice. Where do you live? So in this case, is WH word, auxiliary, subject, and in this case is Xiomara, right? And the verb live. Now, Suleyma, please. Welcome, Suleyma. Buenas. Buenas, buenas. <laughs> okay, hello. Now, uh, what do you do? What 
do you do? Or in other words, what is your occupation, right? What is your occupation? What do you, in this case, you is Suleyman, right? Do. Mm -hmm. Uh-huh, Suleyman. I do. You can shooting? and say, I am, I am an engineer, I am a doctor, I am a, etc., etc., um, right? Uh-huh. I am agronom. Okay, an agronomist. An agronomist. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. It's a very nice occupation. Okay, now, uh, Erika Sanchez. How often do you have English class? Erika, how often do you have English class? In this case, you can say, Erika, can you hear me? Me escucha, Erika? Hello, hello. Yes, okay. sir. In, in this case, Erika, you can say four times a week. Four times a week. Four times a week. Okay, okay. Again. In now. my case, is all the time. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, me, it, yes. yes. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Okay, very good. Congratulations, Erika. Now, listen, Erika. Uh, again, I made the question and you, and you made the answer. Okay. okay. Uh, Erika, how often do you have English class? How often do you have English class? I have... I have. I have. Mm -hmm. English class. I have English class. Uh huh. Um, four weeks. Four weeks? No, four times. Four times. Four times a week. Four times a week. Cuatro veces, cuatro veces a la semana, ¿ok? Ok. Thank you very much, Erika. Now, Miriam, please. Miriam. Uh, Miriam, do you live with your parents, Miriam? Do you live with your parents? ¿Vive con sus papás, Miriam? No, no I... No. no, I don't. No, you, 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 you don't live with your parents. Ok, good, that's nice. So now, the question. When do you... Visit your parents. When do you visit your parents? Again, look for four parts, right? Cuatro partes. WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb. And in this case, is visit, right? So, again, Miriam, when do you visit your parents? I visit my parents on Sunday. On Sunday, that's night, right? Okay, good. Now we have this special uh, question with who? Esto no está en la plataforma, pero se lo voy a explicar rapidito, okay? Uh, cuando usamos el WH who, hay una característica especial. Una vez es, es sujeto y otra vez es objeto, okay? Vamos a ver cuando es sujeto, es decir, cuando el who realiza la acción. Listen to me. Who visit your cousin in Chicago? Who visit your cousin in Chicago? Just give me a second. Stephanie. Okay, so who visit your cousin in Chicago? Who visit your cousin in Chicago? In this case, who is visiting? ¿Quién está visitando? Who, right? Who. And then immediately after who, I have the, the, the action. Visit. Después del who, tenemos la acción. No hay ningún auxiliar acá. No hay ningún auxiliar. ¿Ok? Quiere decir que en este caso, el que realiza la acción es el sujeto. El who, el sujeto. ¿Ok? Then, who does your mother visit in Chicago? ¿A quién visita uh, tu mamá en Chicago? Okay. So, in this case, your mother, quien realiza la acción es tu mamá. 
your mother, right? And in this case, ¿a quién visita su mamá? Visita a who. Entonces, who es un objeto. En este caso, eh, eh, sería mi, mi, mi primo, ¿verdad? ¿A quién visita en Chicago? A mi primo. Entonces, mi primo se convierte en objeto. Quiere decir que cuando usamos who, si es el sujeto, el auxiliar desaparece. ¿Ok? Y cuando el who es objeto, sigue la misma forma que hemos visto, que es WH word, auxiliary, subject, and verb, right? Si no me lo, ent entre, no lo entendieron muy bien, no se preocupen, que esto no está en la plataforma. Esto es solo para que ustedes tengan una cultura general, ¿ok? Que el who, cuando es sujeto, no lleva auxiliar. Y cuando es objeto, sí lleva auxiliar. Lo vamos a decir en español para que lo entendamos bien. Eh, ¿Quién eh, visita a tu primo? ¿Ok? That's the subject. ¿Quién? Entonces estamos preguntando de quién es esa persona. Entonces es el sujeto a quien estamos preguntando. Who does your mother visit in Chicago? ¿A quién? No quién, sino que a quién visita tu mamá en Chicago. ¿A quién? ¿Quién es ese sujeto? Ah, es mi primo. ¿Ok? Good. So now, and listen to me. He says, be careful. Don't use do or does with who if the question is about a subject. Cuando es sujeto, no se usa el do ni el das. Always use the third person singular. Se usa la tercera persona singular. Entonces, decimos, no decimos visit, decimos visits con ese, right? Ok. Esto sería uh, con relación al, al who. Y para terminar, tenemos que always use how many with plural nouns. Siempre que tenemos nombres plurales, vamos a usar how many, right? How many. Good. Now, look at the structure. WH word, what, when. Auxiliary, does, and do. Subject, he, you. Verb, do, and play. Now, what does he do on vacation? When do you play football? Okay, and then we have the WH words. Aquí tenemos uh, las WH words que se usan en inglés. What, qué, where, dónde, when, cuándo, who, quién, why, por qué, how, cómo, which, cuál, whose, de quién, whom, a quién. Okay, so those, those are the WH words. Good. So then we have this exercise. Complete the information question. Let me see. Hoy sí vamos a ver para qué somos buenos Hoy con todos. Vamos a ver si realmente hemos aprendido, ¿ok? Now, let's start again. Beatriz Caldames. Beatriz, can you help me, please? Yes. Uh, I need you make the WH word here. And then he says, he's a doctor. Él es un doctor. Entonces, ¿qué estamos preguntando aquí? Estamos preguntando, what, qué? Estamos preguntando, who, quién? Where, dónde? When, cuándo? What. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál estamos usando aquí, Beatriz? What. What, correct. <coughs> I'm sorry. Cristian Pérez, please. Luego del what... Viene el auxiliar, ¿verdad, Cristian? Sí, teacher. Ok. ¿Cuál auxiliar vamos a usar si el sujeto es your father? ¿Vamos a usar do o vamos a usar does? Eh, does. Does. What does your father? Y ahora viene el verbo que nos va a ayudar, eh, nos va a ayudar Christopher Sánchez. Christopher, please. ¿Cuál sería el verbo que nos hace falta acá, Christopher? What does your father? Vale, vamos a dar una pista. Vamos a dar tres verbos. Play, do, go. Play, do, go. ¿Cuál de esos tres sería, 
Christopher. Christopher. Vaya, Cory nos va a ayudar entonces, Christopher. Which is the verb, Cory? Do. Do. What does your father do? He's a doctor, right? Okay, now. Tell me. Notice, tell me that this is Seoul, right? Seoul. Seoul. So, what is Seoul? Is a person? Is something, is algo? Or is a place? Where? Where? Ah, okay. It's a place. Es un lugar, Seoul, ¿verdad? Es un lugar. Entonces, vamos a usar where, mm -hmm. do or does. Cori, do or does. In loves, este es plural, ¿verdad? Does. Mm, ¿Es plural? No, where do. Where do. Where do you're in loves? Do. Y aquí nos va a ayudar con el verbo live. tell me. Ah, yeah, okay, very good, thank you. Where do you're in loves live? Okay, number three, please. Tell me. I have ten of them. Tengo diez. Es un número. Vamos a ver cuál se usa en números. Regresemos. Por aquí están los números. Permítanme. Salir. Ya se me perdieron. Ah, how many? How many, eh? With plural nouns. ¿Ok? How many vamos a usar acá entonces. Ya le adelantamos. A Delmi, ¿ok? Delmi. Number three. Ajá. Uh -huh. Delmi. Hello. Can you hear me, Delmi? ¿Cuál sería el número tres? Number three, please. How many? Ajá. Uh -huh. How many? Housing. Ajá. Uh -huh. El auxiliar. Do or does? Mm -hmm. Ajá. Uh -huh. Does. Mm, si, el si el sujeto es you, ¿cuál sería el, el auxiliar? Do. Do. Ok, ahora toda la pregunta. How many? How many do thousands? No, how many cousins? How many cousins? Do. Ajá, uh -huh, do. Si la respuesta es I... ¿Cuál sería no, la pregunta, Delmi? No, 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 no. Vale, vamos a decir a, a, a Erika que nos ayude, Erika. Ya Delmi casi lo, lo dijo todo, pero vamos a ver que, que nos ayude Erika. ¿Listo, Erika? Sí. Please, number three. How many cousins? Ajá. How many cousins do? Do. Solo nos falta el sujeto. They, you, or we? Is they? No. Is you? You. you. Very you. good. You. Yes, it's you because. You. Okay. <laughs> Now, please, ahora toda la, oración, toda la oración, toda la pregunta. Okay, please. How many? Uh-huh. Come on, Erika, you can do it. Vamos, yo sé que puedo hacerlo, ya lo tiene. How many cousins do they? No, no, do you? Do you they? Do you have? Oh, do you have? Ok, hoy sí, dígalo todo, vamos. How many cousins do you have? Excellent, very good. Ok, two more, right? Dos más, porque si no, aquí nos vamos a llevar toda la clase. Ok, Flor, please. Number four. Aquí le vamos a ayudar con la... Porque está hablando de frecuencia, Flor. Frequency. Y en frecuencia decimos how often. ¿Con cuánta frecuencia? How often? Ok, ahora lo demás hágalo usted, Flor. How often? How often do you visit your parents? Excellent, very good. Gabriela, please. Number five. Where do you... 
do or does? Your sister. Your sister is a she. She. Do or does? Gabriela? Do. Mm. Does. Gabriela? Hello? Do or does? <laughs> she does. Does, correct. Okay, again. Where does? Where does your sister lives? Live. Le borramos la S porque estamos Live. usando el das, ¿verdad? Cuando usamos el das, la S se le pierde al verbo, ¿ok? Again, come on. Come on, Gabriela, repeat the question. Where does your sister live? Ok, very good. Gloria, please. Number six. Um, Cuando digo my brother, ¿qué es? ¿Es una cosa? ¿Es un lugar? ¿Una persona? ¿Qué es? My brother. Persona. Ajá, persona. Okay. Entonces, ¿cuál vamos a usar, Gloria? Das. Mm, no. Este es el caso donde el auxiliar desaparece, Gloria. Pero la pregunta es, ¿cuál information word vamos a usar aquí? Which information word? What, when, who, why. What speak Russian? Mm, my brother no es un objeto, no es una cosa, mi hermano. ¿Es qué? ¿Qué es mi hermano? My brother. Persona. Persona. My brother in love, right? Entonces, ¿cuál usamos para personas, Gloria? Está difícil, ¿verdad? Ok, Graciela le va a ayudar. Graciela. Ok. Who speaks Russian? Who. Who, ok. Omitimos el do o el das en este caso porque quien realiza la acción es el who, es el sujeto, ¿verdad? Who. Entonces, por eso decimos who speaks Russian. ¿Quién habla ruso? Ok. Very good. That's it, right? Los otros, pues, los vamos a dejar ahí de... Ok, now. We're going to go to the platform. Terminamos la clase con la plataforma, right? Let me see here. Give me a second. Over here, right? Turn to practice making simple present WH questions. If possible, practice with the partner and practice asking and answering the questions. You may ask about sports or fun activities or whatever comes to your mind. The goal is to practice as much as possible. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Oops, sorry. Um, estamos viendo la última parte, ¿verdad? Oopsie. Por aquí estamos, ok. okay. In this class you learn how to ask and answer simple present. Let me see. WH questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play okay. sports or watch a lot of sports? Hockey, baseball. Now repeat after me, please. So, Justin. So, Justin. What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? 
Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Mm, hockey? Baseball? And soccer are my favorites. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow. You're really a good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh. I don't play these sports. I don't play these sports. I just watch them. I just watch them on television. On television. Okay, now again, listen and repeat, please. Well, I love setting. Repeat, please. So, Justin, what do you do in your free time? Well, I love sports. Really? What sports do you like? Hmm. Hockey, baseball, and soccer are my favorites. Wow, you're a really good athlete. When do you play all these sports? Oh, I don't play these sports. I just watch them on television. Do you play sports or watch a lot of sports? Now I would like to show you how to form simple present WH questions. Let's start by analyzing the chart on the screen. Simple present WH questions. What sports do you play? I play hockey and baseball. Who do you play baseball with? I play with some friends from work. We have a team. Where do you play? We play at Hunter Park. How often do you practice? We practice once or twice a week. When do you practice? We practice on Sundays. What time do you start? We start at 10 o'clock in the morning. The goal of using WH questions is to obtain more detailed information from someone. In this case, we want to know everything about the person's response, I play baseball. So we ask, what sports, who, where, how often, when, what time? In order to form simple present WH questions, we can follow this next formula. WH word plus do or does plus the subject plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions now. In the example, where do you play? The WH word is where. Then we add the auxiliary verb do. After that, we add the subject, you. Next, we add the verb play. Finally, we add the complement. In this case, we don't have a complement because from our previous question and answer, we understand that we're talking about baseball. There's one particular question that I would like to point out. Who do you play baseball with? This type of question may sound a little strange in some languages because of the location of the words who and with. So I would like to explain the following. We can ask this question in two ways. The most common in American English is who do you play baseball with? The other way is by saying with whom do you play baseball? 
It's not very common, but it's correct and formal to express yourself like this. So to understand the question, who do you play baseball with, let me write a quick formula. Who plus do or does plus subject plus the verb plus noun plus with. As the example shows, we start our question with who. Next, we put an auxiliary verb, do. After that, the subject, you. Next, we need to add the verb and noun, play baseball. I would like to point out that sometimes it's not necessary to add a noun, just the verb so we can easily say, who do you play with? El microphone, teacher. <laughs> okay, so this is the video. This is the video. And I need your commentaries, please. After the video, in the discussion part, right? I need to see all the commentaries. Hay algunos chicos que todavía no he visto sus comentarios. Así que, por favor, hay que estrenarse ahí. Please. <laughs> okay, any extra question before we finish? No questions? Okay, class, thank you very much. See you tomorrow, only the whole scene. Solo chicos de whole scene se me quedan para la foto. Please. Good night, teacher. Good night. Okay. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. God bless you. God bless you. Bye bye. Ready for the picture? One. Al final de. Cuando diga tres, sonriendo todos. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, ahí estamos ya todos. Okay, thank you very much. Have a good night. God bless you. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.